with the canonization of Pope John Paul II, uh, now Saint Pope John Paul II, it was the perfect opportunity to release this piece of art that there are so many qualities about this particular piece of art that I've never disclosed, I've never talked about. Um, few people realize, those very close uh, to His Holiness knew that he had a great love of contemporary art. Um, the original piece is very large. It was done as a gift from the United States to the Holy Father and he was very ill at the time. I, I did the piece because it was you know, the greatest honor that you can have, but I did it under one stipulation was that no one would be allowed to see the painting prior to its presentation. Now, Lindy Boggs was the ambassador to the Holy See, and she just so happened to be from Louisiana, and I'm from Louisiana, and so how she convinced the Vatican to agree to that, I don't know, but, but the, the painting remained uh, sealed until right before the presentation. It was presented in front of 70,000 people in St. Peter's Square, and the painting was done in this contemporary style, which was unlike anything that there has ever been a portrait of Pope John Paul II. Now, when the portrait was brought to him, he was very ill, and he was obviously visually affected by the portrait and began conversing with me about the inspiration behind it. And before I could even say, why there was such a spectrum of colors used. It was as if he knew what I was trying to convey was the colors represent every nationality that his love and his papacy has touched throughout his time here on earth. And at one point, one of the protocol of cardinals came up and pretty much was like, okay, you know, the, the presentation is over and he stopped him. And he said, I'd like to give you and your family a personal blessing. And he says, and more importantly, I'd like to bless this piece of art. And he gave a, a very long blessing specifically to the painting. I didn't understand exactly why he was adamant about presenting a blessing specifically to the painting. Now, the original painting resides in the permanent collection of the Vatican. However, now the photo of him performing this blessing is the only known documented evidence of St. Pope John Paul II performing a personal blessing on a portrait of himself. Now, I always believed that there was some significance as to as to why this painting existed, because the inspiration, I mean, the divine inspiration that I had while creating it was, you know, really overwhelming. It was something that, that was unlike anything that I had ever done before, and it was as if the, the painting created itself. And while, you know, I, I, I can create work that's photorealistic, and I could have painted him to look exactly like a photograph, it's like I, I wanted this, this image of him to merge in with the colors because he was the people's pope. And so, you know, everything about it transcended just one piece of art. So now with his canonization, I've agreed to release the actual portrait because right before the portrait was presented to him there were very very detailed high quality photographs that were taken of the piece and without those we would not have been able to reproduce it as you see here so i created and reproduced the piece as an 11 by 14 painting but i always felt that there was something else 
that I wanted to add to the piece. Like over the years, I've learned so much about the cornerstones of what's so important about his time here on earth and what meant so much to him as an individual and what he wanted to convey. And so I painted a detailed painting of a piece of stained glass featuring the Blessed Mother on one side and Jesus on the other, along with four of St. Pope John Paul II's most defining quotes that to me represent everything that he stood for. The original of this piece contains so much 18 karat gold and there was actually real gold that was mixed with the paint and so when making a print my entire career has been all about making sure that my work is affordable to everyone and this is something that has never been more obvious than what we're doing right now. The print is available in two different ways. One without the actual gold leafing and one with the gold leafing. However, the print is a $50 print. I've always had my critics in the art world that have, have said that I create my work for the masses. And I'm sorry, there's, there's no greater number of people in this world that have been touched by St. Pope John Paul II. And so to be able to, to offer something that's affordable to anyone. Now, being able to also create this custom mat that encases it as a piece of stained glass in a frame, I really believe that the Holy Father would have responded just incredible to it. And, and I, I wrote a letter so with every print, whether you get it unframed or framed or whichever version that you get, comes with a photograph of the actual moment in which he blessed the portrait. It also comes with a detailed description of the private conversation that I had with him about the painting. And I'm not going to go into that now, but I will tell you what's really strange is that on my site, there is a piece of art that, that is a jazz piece that um, I drew a little trumpet at the bottom of and I held up Al Hurt's trumpet, which if you watch the video, you'll know that that was, that was something that he left to my family. Pope John Paul asked me during the presentation, was I familiar with Al Hurt's music, which was so strange and I said not only am I familiar with it he's one of my my dearest friends he said I remember his rendition of Ave Maria that he played when I did the mass in New Orleans was one of my favorite renditions and I went back to Al Hurt after the presentation of the portrait and I told him that and you'd have to know Al Hurt he said I forgot the music to it. So when I went up there, I just winged it. He says, and I can tell so many of the Cardinals were mortified. He says, and I looked at, he says, I looked at Pope John Paul and he was tapping his foot, okay, and moving his finger. And shortly thereafter, I received a personal letter signed by him telling him how much he loved the rendition. It, there's so many strange connections that have, that have come about to make this particular piece possible. And that's why, you know, I was glad to have the opportunity to, to speak about it for, the, for really the first time. I, I haven't talked about it in, in many years, and this is the first time that it's been made available, and we are offering it all over the world, and it is affordable to everyone because that is what the Holy Father would want. There's something special about this piece of art. There's something that compelled my time with him to be so long, and the things that I spoke to him about, the art in particular. I'm not going to arrogantly say there's something so special about it because it's the best piece of art that's ever been done. There's something about this piece of art that resonated with him that was obvious and was just, it, it was the, the holiest experience that I've ever had in my life and, and really kind of defined to me not only my faith, but the man and, and his generosity and his love to me and the words that he expressed about this painting were as if he knew before it was even presented 
what it was going to be. And you'll read about that in, in the letter that I have. So I hope that in some way it will touch your family. I hope in some way it will, it will give you a personal connection to St. Pope John Paul II that is unlike any piece of art that's been done of him. Because again, it's the only piece with actual documented evidence. That's why we're calling it, you know, the blessed portrait of St. Pope John Paul II. Um, with him doing the blessing at that perfect moment with me kneeling in front of him. And I'll never do anything in my life that will compare with the importance of this piece. And I just want to thank you for the opportunity to be able to talk to you a little bit about it. And I hope you enjoy the video. And that's about it.